start date 64.07. I'm finally back to make a video this week. I didn't make one last week. Or actually, I did make one last week. I just didn't edit it because I couldn't get it off my camera. So I couldn't do that. And for some reason, my battery died. And I, if the battery's dead, I can't transfer it to the computer. So I couldn't get it. Sorry. But I'm back this week, and hopefully I can actually transfer it. I have batteries now, so it shouldn't be a problem this week. Okichan wants to know basically what my least favorite shonen and my least favorite shoujo is, and if I had to choose which one of those would I watch in uh, contrast to the other. This was actually kind of a hard question. I had trouble thinking of some least favorite shonens and shoujos. The only shonen that I really couldn't get into was One Piece, honestly. And I know there's a huge fan base for that series, and I'm really in the minority in my opinion on that series, but I don't know, I just couldn't really get into that series. I know I watched the 4Kids version, that was the one that I tried to get into, and I know the Funimation version might be better, probably that's what everyone says anyway, but for some reason the story just didn't intrigue me really, I just couldn't get into it. That and the opening theme was incredibly, incredibly annoying, and I still to this day cannot get that damn song out of my head. My least favorite shoujo? Uh, that's another kind of hard one. Um, the only one that I can't really get into right now is um, called The Wallflower. I bought that last month for Sustain the Industry, or sometime, maybe it was two months ago, and I started watching it, and uh, I am so mad at myself for buying that series. Now, it's not horrible, but it's just so annoying. It's so annoying. I just, uh Like, I don't know why, but the director, like, maybe he or she told the actors to just act as obnoxious and loud as they can, but it sounded like that in the series. Like, seriously, I, I get a headache every time I watch an episode of that series. Maybe it gets better later on. I don't know. I've only watched the first three episodes, and I'm just not really that intrigued. Also, the story is kind of annoying to me because it's about a girl who's sort of like a goth, I guess, and all these hot boys are trying to change her into a beautiful woman, and I feel like that's a really bad message, to change yourself, to look better, to be a better person. I don't really, I don't really think that's very good, honestly. I don't think appearance is something that's supposed to be really important, you know, that's not really a great message to me anyway. But maybe the series gets better later on. I don't know. It's, 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 it's just, uh. And if I had to choose which series I would watch, I don't, I don't even know. I, I guess The Wallflower is kind of funny, so maybe I'd pick The Wallflower anyway. I could just, like, ignore the fact that the message is kind of annoying as hell. Of course, I, I overanalyze things, so maybe I'm, I don't know. I don't know. I guess I'll just choose the wallflower just because. I don't know. I'm not a fan of One Piece. Sorry, but that's just my opinion. I'm uh, nothing against, you know, the series or fans or anything. I just, mm, not for me. So, my question for Kay tomorrow, um, <laughs> I don't even know what I'm going to ask her. What's a series, both uh, shoujo or shonen, I guess either one or both, um, what is the series that you've been wanting to get into but haven't yet? Or or if you can't think of one, maybe what's the series that you've been wanting to get more volumes of but you haven't yet of that series that's either shonen or shoujo or both if you can think of two different series? Um, I hope that this question makes sense. I feel like I've asked that question before though. Oh well, I'm sorry if I have. So I hope you all enjoyed this. I'll see you guys next week, and Kay, we'll see you tomorrow.